Hey guys, it's Emma. Today's video is going to be a vlog slash thrift with me. I have a few errands to run and then I'm going to go to a Goodwill that's near these errands. I'm actually shipping a box to my friend Stephanie because we're filming a thrift swap and I'm so excited about it and instantly enough the post office out there is kind of near this Goodwill that I sometimes go to and so I figured I might pop in and thrift because I've been watching some videos by Threads Obsessed lately. She lives in Canada and her thrift finds are incredible. Like all of them are name brands. I need to move to Canada like right now but I've been watching her thrift with me's and now I just like feel like I need to go even though I've been like so many times. So I'm just gonna do a little vlog this afternoon and we're gonna see what happens but I'm excited. Today I like hardly went to school because I had a migraine last night so I didn't do any of my homework because I couldn't focus and then I slept in and then I woke up and the time I ended up actually getting to school I only had an hour and like 15 minutes left so it was like what school I have senioritis already and we just finished the first quarter so that's not good but um, I'm really excited for schools once I finish my whole college application process and like see where I get in like figure out where I'm going I'll do a whole video talking about the process because I know a lot of youtubers videos about that helped me because like, you get anxious about it it's a really stressful time in your life and like trying to figure out how to manage it and decide where you want to go is like something I feel like is really important to people that watch me that are a bit younger than I am so that'll be coming up in the next couple months once I figure out what the heck I'm doing with college but yeah we're gonna vlog and thrift and see how this goes I also have a coffee but funny enough I ordered a latte but they gave me cold brew so I threw a scoop of ice cream in it to make it taste good kind of like an affogato but I'm not really sure how it's gonna work it tastes pretty good so far, but um, yeah. Guys, I really can't believe that David Dobrik is truly in Richmond, Virginia. I just love when you're vlogging and then old people see you and they wonder like what the heck you're doing because they haven't really caught on yet that vlogging is a thing and like nobody vlogs where I'm like from or where I currently am, so I look a little crazy when I'm in public holding a camera, but I'm getting better. I used to be really shy of vlogging, but I feel like now I'm obnoxious enough that it's maybe interesting to watch you know oh, we're gonna go thrifting and see what we can find I'm really excited because like I had like the thrifting bug you know when like you just really want to go and like you feel like Goodwill is like calling you yay Goodwill here and I'm giving myself an hour limit because I have to go home and do stuff so I'm gonna go in and browse and see what I can find and I'm excited so let's go this or a thrift trip this successful or this big and like ever i have so many name brands in here i found vintage made in italy valentino pants and then i literally have like twenty thousand pairs of tommy denim i don't know and so many pairs of adidas pants too i literally have so much stuff this is insane also quick OG because i'm feeling my outfit this jacket is thrifted t-shirts from target this is from Zaffel, these are my Pulitzer. My pants are thrifted and my Air Force Ones, of course, are thrifted as well, but let's try all this stuff. I have this little boy's shirt, it says Nike on it. Quick tip, checking the seven to 16 boy section is so smart because they have a lot of like name brand t-shirts like Nike or Adidas, but this is really cute. I feel like it might be a bit too small to like wear comfortably, but definitely more of a fashion t-shirt, but. It looks pretty like vintage-y, so I like it. Two Guess mini skirts, which I've been looking for Guess on them for a while. Haven't really had any success with jeans, but these are like really small, like definitely like early 2000s. They're super cute, but I'm not sure if they're gonna fit, so we're gonna see. Not really sure if I could wear these, cause like I have super long legs and it looks like real short. So I found this like really cool grommet belt, but it's a little too small. It literally has like the tiniest bit peeking over, cause like it does not fit around my hips, but 
it's really cool. Pants are rough Lauren, they're a little bit too big, but I love the belt. It reminds me of the Gucci belt that I've been getting lately, but this top, the more I wear it, the more I love it, so I think I'm gonna get this, but the belt as well. The pants are just a little bit too big. They're a darker wash I don't have, but I'm definitely gonna still search for like that perfect pair, I think. This is all the Tommy Hilfiger denim that I found. I have these shorts that have the tags that are still on them. A pair of shorts which has like the older logo, which I love, and then I have three separate pairs of jeans with like varying times. You can tell like when they were made with the different patches and stuff. I grabbed this skirt because I love the two-tone denim with the roses. I feel like it's a little bit too long and a little bit too baggy to be pulled off as cute, but it looks like something Topshop would make like now, which I thought was really cool and unique. And this is like a top that's like a cardigan, I guess, but I tied it in the middle so it's like one of those wrap tops, but I already have one of these. Just kind of wanted to grab it to see how it would look, but it is cute. I've been super into sport pants lately and I found three pairs of Adidas. These which have like the older logo and then these two which has like these have like the purple stripes and these have their dark green with these awesome gray stripes which I love and then I found a pair of these Nikes they're more like windbreak material they're really similar to the pants that I wore in but they're so cool and of course they have like the big Nike logo right here. So my top I obviously grabbed because it has like the checkered flag and has like the cute little logo on the side but these are the first pair of Adidas pants. They're the green ones with the gray and has like the trefoil. I don't know how you say that logo right there which are really cool they're not joggers open but this color is really unique i feel like the top's pretty cool i wish this was red and not green because like the stuff on the back is like kind of green too which kind of clashes with the whole like checkerboard red and yellow kind of theme going for but this is awesome here are the other adidas pants these have the purple and these are like black charcoal color it has like the logo right there right leg triple purple stripe love them they're too big like they have to be really tied in the front to work so I feel like I might leave these for someone else, but these are awesome. I've never found more name brand pants in my entire life. These are the third pair. They're definitely older and they have pockets. Or do they have pockets? Oh yeah, they have pockets. Napkins in them, apparently. These are navy blue with like white edging down the side. Of course, the three, but it's like a little bit older. You can tell these are made previously to the other two and it has like the original logo. These are pretty cool. I like that on the back there, but they're more like windbreaker material. I like them, but I just got a pair like this, so I'm like not sure, but these are really cool. The last pair of sport pants, and these are kind of really weird because the Nike logo not only is in the back, and I'm not wearing the backwards because this thing is in the front. These are like semi-snap pants, if you can see the bottom, but they're in really bad condition. They have rips the bottom. As you can see, these are like the tearaway pants, like this, but they're missing a few buttons, and then this part up here is torn, which is so sad because my friend finds a lot of these tearaway pants, but I've never found a pair, and the first time that I do, they're like ruined. As you can see, the little snaps there are so cute, but like I said, I feel like they're like in pretty beat up condition, so I don't think I'm going to take these, but I'm getting close to finding the perfect snap pants. So this is probably one of the best things that I've ever found. These are Valentino pants, and they're also vintage, and you can tell they're authentic because it says made in Italy, which is so cool, and they're like beautiful 80s looking pants with pleats on the front, and they taper towards the ankle, and they're just so awesome like the fact that i found vintage valentino made in italy this is insane so here's what the pants look like on these are so so cool the problem is they're a little bit too tight like to the point where i couldn't really tuck a shirt in because it's real snug in there but these are just so gorgeous and i can't believe i found these in a thrift store these pants are fantastic i'm so sad they don't fit because vintage valentino are you kidding me it makes me feel like a brand whore but like Valentino is designer and they're actually authentic and they were here which is insane So next I found this really awesome Orioles bomber I don't really watch sports so like don't come at me But it has the logo of the bird on the side and these really awesome cuffs and that's like her brand that's but it means it's like legit It's a huge like puffer bomber so it's really warm and comfortable I just don't know how much it is Nine dollars I forget this look like a poser but like the colorway of the orange and black is so cute and it just, oh, this is awesome. And I have a couple sport name brands. I have two Nike shirts, an Adidas shirt, and then a Reebok shirt, which is yellow. I like this one the most because I just love the way it's embroidered like that. It's a men's, like, huge shirt, but it's yellow, so that's my aesthetic. And that one's really cute. I like the sleeves on this one. It has, like, the, of course, the triple stripe, but let's try these buddies on. I'm loving the Reebok shirt. It's so bright yellow. I have a pair of Calvin Klein jeans on. They're kind of, like, flare, like, very much, like... 2000s jean. I love like the little Calvin Klein, Calvin Klein here, but unfortunately I just feel like they're not really my style, but they're super cute. So here's the Adidas shirt. I feel like it's a little bit too big to be like stylish. Like when I wear it on my shoulders, like even like the stripes disappear. It's just like too oversized. And these are the first pair of Tommy denim. These are like capris, so it's a really awkward length. 
but it has like the flag, the tag, and the flag on the belt, which I think is the cutest part, but I think both of these have to stay because they're a little bit too big. Here I have an Angel shirt, which is really cute, except for the back it says Royal Chevrolet, but whatever, but these are the Tommy jeans. These are from the men's section, so they're obviously massive, but they have the cute patch and the flag, which is the best, but I just, it's a little too much. Mango shirt is so funny, it's Harley Davidson holiday brand. And the t-shirt's like, it's obviously kind of old because like the cotton blend of the t-shirt's really stiff and like, like that old, like not as comfy brand kind of thing. I don't know. But this is cute, but I don't think I'm going to get it because I don't think I'd wear it, but Harley Davidson is a brand to look out for when you're thrifting for sure. So I found this really cool silk kind of blazer looking thing. Can't decide if it's like a pajama shirt, but there's like no buttons, so I'm not sure. It looks kind of badass, but like with all black outfits or booties, my white booties for like meetings or something. I feel like this could be pulled off as like really, really chic. I don't know. And okay, then I have this oversized white long sleeve, which I think I'm just gonna get because it's like a basic that you need. But the more that I wear these jeans, the more that I like them. They're super oversized, so when you belt them, they kind of puff up in the front, which I like the look of. And they're just super comfortable and like a really good quality denim. I'm not sure. I think I'll decide based on checkout, but I'm living for this look right now. I love it. So I think the majority of the stuff that I found is stuff that like doesn't really fit me, which stinks, but I found a lot of good mainstream brands. So I feel like it's going to be like on the smaller side for the total haul today, but I found a few really great pieces which I'm really excited about. I'm still debating on this bomber. I feel like I can either get it and resell it for a lot more or it's just super comfortable and good to wear for the winter because let me tell you, it's getting cold here. But I'm going to finish up, check out, and talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, we just finished with our total coming up to 35 But of course I round up because I'm a good Samaritan and love Goodwill. So I'm going to get home, haul, and yeah, I'm really excited. I found a lot of good stuff. Hey guys, so now I'm back at home and I'm going to be showing you guys what I got. I have two bags here. Okay, the guy literally stuffed so much into these bags, let me tell you. But um, here are my bags. I'm just going to go through them. I pretty much showed you guys everything that I got in the video, which is like a recap price kind of thing. So here we have this Nike shirt, which was from the little boy section. It was $2. It is super cute. I love it. It's red. And I have these Adidas track pants, which are really, really cool. And they have the logo here and they're just long they don't they're not like the jogger style they like come out to like the general straight leg fit and they have zips that go up half the way in case you get hot i figured if i don't wear these as trendy sporty pants i can always wear them as snow pants for like when i go sledding and stuff in the winter because i don't really own actual snow pants next thing i got i'm so excited about not only because i'm gonna take a few pictures in it but i'm actually gonna sell it so i have this orioles bomber here which is by the brand the diamond collection starter made in the usa so this is literally legit it's totally authentic it has like that sport brand baseball logo right here and it is just this huge bomber which is awesome orioles bird on the sleeve with like the two-tone and has like orioles right here i looked these up and these go for like 150 dollars on like ebay or the website so i'm bought this for nine and i'm just gonna sell it for like 60 bucks on ebay or something and i got this really cool silk blazer silk is quickly becoming a huge huge trend at urban they released recently these like sets in yellow that have like the asian silky inspired fabric you find a goodwill surprisingly a lot but it's this blazer looking thing it's not a pajama because there's no buttons on the front it just looks very chic i feel like i get this at, like top shop for like a hundred bucks and i got this really awesome belt it reminds me of the not gucci belt is it gucci belt no it's not gucci belt maybe it is gucci belt i don't know everyone's been getting like the designer belts lately and i don't have a black belt that has gold detailing on it so those looked really cool because it's like a circle. I just kind of wanted a thicker, more substantial, and once again, gold detailed belt. <laughs> then I got this Reebok shirt. It's oversized, bright yellow. It has Reebok embroidered right here. It is super comfortable. I figure I'm just going to cuff the sleeves and wear it with jeans, like tucked into them, or I'll wear it with leggings as a lazy day. It's just a really cute um, shirt. I liked it a lot. Then I think finally, yes, finally, I have these Ralph Lauren Jeans Co. Mom Jeans. These are a size 10, so they are definitely too big for me. But I put them on, and they're way big on the waist, but when you wear a belt like the one I just got, and you kind of like cinch them, and it like ruffles a little bit, I think it looks really cool and vintage. These are super high. I also don't have a wash this dark for mom jeans yet, and I really like these. 
I just all like the detailing it says Ralph Lauren jeans has like the flag has like all the little things on here that say Ralph Lauren just a really nice authentic pair of denim that's really thick and I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of but yeah that's all I got for this thrift haul I hope you guys enjoyed I was literally amazed what I found this time that I left behind like the Valentino pants the three pairs of Adidas track pants even though I did get one all the Tommy denim that was insane so I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know any thrifting videos you want to see down below either more come thrift with me thrift hauls thrift transformations celebrity inspired thrifts store inspired thrifts literally any of the above i'll do them and i love you guys so much bye Mwah. also if you guys want a 100% all thrifted lookbook leave me a comment and if I get enough comments I will do it because I feel like I, at this point I have so many thrifted pieces that I can do that and like my shoes god these are so cute oh.